I'm Joe Tessitore, and we're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to Vegas, where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center for a month. They're scheduled for 12. Here's round number one. Little head hunting with the left. What's the best way to neutralize good hand speed? Timing. Guys throwing real quick punches, maybe a quick jab. You time a right hand right over. Nice strike after catching one by the killer. Very nice defensive guard there. The killer's well off the mark that time. Blocks that punch. There he is from long range using that jab. So if you're on the outside, say at a picnic, you want to keep those insects away, you use insect repellent. While you're on the outside as a fighter, you want to keep your opponent away, that jab, that's the way to go. Comes right back with a shot of his own. right back at him with a left hand scored well up top oh he just did a big uppercut right there he had no idea it was coming his way he does not look good at all his opponent wanted the body he wouldn't give it to him Last 10 seconds of this first round. The next generation's right hand scores well that time. The killer's corner did a good job in that last round. They really got their fighter back to where he needs to be after being damaged in that last round. And that's not the only good job they did in the corner. They did a good job in the camp because obviously they have him in top shape and it's paying dividends right now. Protecting his head well with his guard. Hey, gotta see that the killer's left now getting into the mix. A headshot blocked. And coming upon the halfway mark in of this three-minute round. In out. The killer's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Clean shot with the right. You see him holding on. Downstairs with a right hand. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Early on in this fight, one of the things I'm going to look for is who's the more well-rounded fighter offensively? Who can do it all with all their punches? Well, you look for that in any sport, in any profession. You know, you look at a quarterback, you know, in football, the great ones, they can throw deep, but they can throw the short patterns. They can throw the out, the in patterns. Same thing with a fighter. The killers clamped down by a left hand. Somehow he's avoiding going down here. All of a sudden, some good defense after a lack of it cost him. Now, here's a perfect example of where you can actually see confidence growing in a fight. He was able to stun his man in that last round, and you just get a sense that he's a bigger, better fighter than he was before. I agree with you, Joe. You, it's the accumulation of damage that's starting to get to him right now. And he's holding. He took a shot, but...
but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Well, he really digs in when he decides to throw that uppercut. Good job. Oh, the next generation's in a very nice rhythm right now, landing the uppercut on the inside. If he can stay with that, he can do some serious damage. Uh, the damage he can do is put something on top of that uppercut, Joe. He needs to do that. The uppercut picks up the head, put the hook up top to take it off. That's a great combination. Brings the hook that time. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Oh, they both land flush with uppercuts. And now looking to hang on. Killer's left, working well that time. The next generation's on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. And this round comes to an end. Start of round four, I was trying to listen in to what was told to him after the third round. Teddy, he trails on your scorecard three rounds as if He's throwing a lot of punches, but he needs some better advice. Yeah, well, one of the things that he could be told, and I would tell him, is move after your last punch. Don't stand there and wait for the receipt. You're paying a price. Scores up top with a left. He has his target. He lands a straight right. Unable to score with the hook. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Big right hand. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Watch the hook! Oh, hands up, hands up! Crashes home with the uppercut. You see him zeroing. Can you believe that? What a big shot, Teddy. He goes down, and he was on the outside where he doesn't like to be. Where he shouldn't be, and he paid a price. One, two, three, four. Five. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out. Exactly oh! Once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? One, two, three, four, five. The ref stops the fight. The next generation's unable to get up and continue on. Ladies and gentlemen, by knockouts, your winner, the killer. Teddy, there's a lot of explaining to do here, but help me with this. Was this early knockout on a left field a product of one guy being prepared and the other guy just not ready for it? No, obviously.